seven finalists in the final round of informative speaking. In seventh place, from Downers Grove North, Andy Osterling. In sixth place, from Hinsdale Central, Stephen Chun. In fifth place, from Prospect High School, Claudia Lowe. In fourth place, from Carbondale High School, Radia Lalu. In third place, from Glenbard West, Grace Houghton Larson. Your tournament runner-up in informative speaking is Marilyn Zubak from Wheaton, Warrenville South. And your tournament champion in informative speaking from Shepherd High School, Lindsay Bliss. And your state champion in informative speaking, Lindsay Bliss. I look important, right? <laughs> Successful, fearless, confident, self-absorbed. <laughs> Maybe a little narcissistic. Okay, I'm starting to hate myself too. My point is that the power poses I've just demonstrated have created a profound influence on your impression of me. My power posing has manipulated the control of your attention through the limitless potential of not what you hear, but what you see. Body language. Body language is the postures, gestures, and facial expressions by which a person manifests various physical, mental, or emotional states and communicates non-verbally with others. This non-vocal expression is truly the inexhaustible resource of power that formulates our human interaction. Essentially, your body language shapes not only what you think of yourself, but also affects how others pass judgment on you. After all, we are a society of critics. <laughs> but forget them. You can't please everybody. Elicit your physical expression as I enlighten you on the many impacts of body language, including its significance in human interaction, its social setbacks, and the vain advantages of this silent strength. Body language forms the basic building blocks for our habitual lives. Its profound impact on human behavior can be traced back to the beginning of our species' existence. In everything we do, we can absorb a lot about an individual by analyzing their physical characteristics. We are constantly sending one another signals and revealing the mannerisms of our character. Posture being one of these signals provides great insight into an individual's confidence. Social psychologist Dr. Amy Cuddy in her June 2012 TED Talk states that certain power poses immediately change your body chemistry and that these changes help or hurt the way others perceive you, but more importantly, affect the way you actually perform. Cuddy's research has proven that adopting an empowering pose actually increases testosterone levels in the body and decreases the stress hormone cortisol. Thus, assuming a dominant posture for just seconds will boost self-confidence and eliminate doubt. Eye contact only adds vigor to the limitless potential of body language. According to psychologist Dr. Gail Serlin, in her article, The Psychology and Linguistics of Body Language, making eye contact when being introduced to someone sends the unconscious signal to the other that you hold him or her in high regard and are confident. Consider your professional life. Let's say you're being interviewed for your first job. You strut into the room, head held high with confidence. You introduce yourself and give a firm handshake, never once breaking eye contact. <laughs> Displaying such fearlessness can be daunting, 
This is simple. Don't forget to blink. You want to be hired, not reported to the police. In essence, body language constitutes human interaction in every aspect of our lives. Despite its inexhaustible positives, body language can and will stab you in the back. In turn, plaguing our society with people who are doomed for social failure. I'm talking about the people whose demeanor screams, I haven't had any real public interaction since my last family Christmas party. <laughs> if executed improperly, body language can put a serious damper on an individual's ability to interact. Anthropologist Avish Paya, in his article, Nonverbal Communication, states that emotion should be compatible with desired intentions. If one appears angry while trying to convey a friendly attitude, one is not likely to be successful. For example, if you're asking someone out, display a happy facial expression. Offer a sincere gaze and use kind gestures. Try not to appear so nauseous and abrupt because even though you're vocalizing an interest to flattery, your body language tells the opposite story. You look scary and sweaty, which brings me to misreading nonverbal signs. This is perhaps the most detrimental negative of body language. It's pretty embarrassing too. Just because someone smiles at you in the hallway doesn't mean that they want you. <laughs> For the last time, Kevin, we are just friends. What I mean is that it's important not to always take nonverbal communication so literally. Author Carol Gowen in The Nonverbal Advantage states that our nonverbals play a key role in helping us form quick impressions. But as innate as this ability may be, not all of our impressions are accurate. Sometimes gestures mean nothing at all, and signals have no intention. <laughs> like at a speech tournament, where your judge doesn't look up from curiously writing. <laughs> this can easily be misconstrued that the judge has many flaws to exploit or a sign of blatant dislike for your speech. But in actuality, the judge could be writing down all kinds of positive feedback about what a fabulous performance you're giving. You can't always be sure. Regardless of true meaning, body language is not definitive. Don't say I didn't warn you. You may be asking, how can we manipulate the power of body language to attain social advantages? Easily. Now, I'm not going to suggest that you pantomime your feelings as a way to non-verbally communicate your emotions with flair. But you could. <laughs> By analyzing our body language, we can discover unknown nuances of an individual. People watch to obtain information. Observation of such physical behaviors is often used in psychological therapy. The International College of Holistic Medicine states that observing a client's body language when they are uncomfortable can be used to create discussion about the very thing that may need exploring. For example, observing an individual's decline to shake another's hand might reveal that this individual does not like physical contact. This is a characteristic that is not readily made known. But more than picking at the insecurities of others, one can manipulate the power of body language to fake self-confidence. In order to convince others of your self-assurance, you need only take on superior postures. Strike a pose of confidence, and others will believe your dominant persona. In her TED Talk, Dr. Cuddy further attests that our nonverbals govern how others think and feel about us. Thus, if we pretend that we naturally exhibit confidence, the people around us will buy into this facade. Literally, becoming a posing poser will persuade all to perceive you as powerful. Nonverbal communication can open the possibilities to developing a sixth sense. I see through people. <laughs> Essentially, a form of mind reading is unlocked once you have mastered the arts of body language translation. Okay, I have something to get off my chest. I've been faking this overconfidence thing this whole time. <laughs> nah, I'm pretty confident. Body language forms the foundations of our everyday lives. It can be used to fake it until you make it. From manipulating social status to landing a successful career in, 
being assertive with relentless teenagers like Kevin. <laughs> That's still a no, Kevin. <laughs> like a firm no. <laughs> the power of body language is limitless. So strike a pose. Woo!